Imagine a defense shield so advanced it can detect stealth aircraft long before they realize they've been spotted. A system designed to track hypersonic missiles blazing across the sky and even threaten satellites orbiting above. For years, the United States has dominated the skies, but now Russia claims it has built something that can challenge that dominance. This isn't just a new missile system. This is a leap into the future of warfare. This is the S-500 Prometei, Russia's bold attempt to rewrite the rules of air and missile defense. The S-500, called Prometei, or Prometheus, is Russia's next-generation air and missile defense system and is often described as the successor to the powerful S-400. But the S-500 is not simply an upgrade, it's a completely new category of interceptor built with a very specific purpose, to defend Russia from the weapons of the future. While traditional air defense systems focus on aircraft and cruise missiles, the S-500 was engineered from the ground up to counter ballistic missiles, hypersonic glide vehicles, stealth jets, and even space-based threats. Its development started years before the world began seriously talking about hypersonic warfare, which shows how far ahead Russia was planning. At the heart of the S-500 is its radar network. Russia claims it can detect targets at ranges up to 800 kilometers, far beyond what existing Western air defense radars can track. This allows it to see highly maneuverable threats, even those designed to slip under radar coverage. The S-500 can simultaneously track multiple objects flying at different speeds, altitudes, and trajectories. Whether a target is flying low like a cruise missile or coming down from the edge of space like a ballistic warhead, the S-500's radar web is built to catch it. The key advantage is its multi-band radar architecture, which combines long-range detection with pinpoint tracking, giving Russia's command centers a complete picture of the battle space. But detection is only half the story. The S-500's biggest claim is its interceptor missiles. The system uses a range of missile types, including the 77N6 series, which Russia says can hit targets traveling at hypersonic speed. These interceptors are believed to reach speeds close to Mach 9, making them some of the fastest defensive missiles ever built. They are designed to destroy not only incoming missiles but potentially satellites in low Earth orbit. If this capability is accurate, it means the S-500 is not just an air defense system, it is an anti-space weapon. And that is what makes it a strategic game changer. Another defining feature of the S-500 is its engagement altitude. While traditional air defense systems operate within the atmosphere, the S-500 is reportedly capable of intercepting ballistic missiles and objects in near-space environments. This plugs a major gap in Russia's defensive architecture, allowing it to engage threats at a much earlier phase than current systems. Western analysts note that this gives Russia a layered shield reaching from ground level all the way to the edge of space, something few nations can match. The S-500 also integrates seamlessly into Russia's multi-layered defense network, which includes the S-300, S-350, and S-400 systems. Each system covers a specific range and type of threat. But the S-500 sits on top, acting as the final guardian and first responder, depending on the threat. This layered structure means an enemy aircraft or missile would face multiple defensive rings before it even approaches a Russian target. In real conflict scenarios, this is crucial. It forces adversaries to commit more resources, take higher risks, and reduce the chances of a successful strike. One of the most talked about aspects of the S-500 is its potential. Against stealth aircraft, Russia says the system can detect and target stealth jets like the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II. While this claim is debated, the S-500's radar frequencies and long-range detection capabilities make it harder for stealth aircraft to approach unseen. Even if it cannot fully lock onto a stealth jet at maximum range, simply detecting it early fundamentally changes the tactical landscape. Stealth aircraft rely on surprise. If the surprise is gone, so is their biggest advantage. In terms of mobility, the S-500 retains the same philosophy as other Russian surface-to-air systems, it is fully mobile and can relocate quickly. This makes it extremely difficult to target or destroy. In modern warfare, mobility is survival. A fixed system is a vulnerable system. The S-500, mounted on large transporter launcher vehicles, can fire, relocate, and reposition across thousands of kilometers of Russian territory. 
This ensures that even large-scale missile strikes would struggle to neutralize it before it becomes operational again. But the real question is its impact on global military power. If the S-500 performs as claimed, it could challenge the United States' long-standing dominance in the air. American strategic doctrine relies heavily on stealth aircraft, precision strikes, and control of the skies. A system capable of intercepting stealth jets and hypersonic weapons directly threatens that doctrine. This forces the US to rethink its offensive strategies and invest further in next-generation technologies. At the same time, countries aligned with Russia may seek access to derivatives of this system, reshaping regional power balances. However, the S-500 remains largely untested in real combat. Much of what the world knows comes from Russian military announcements, which may include strategic exaggeration. The lack of full international transparency means analysts must rely on partial information, satellite imagery, and educated assessments. But even with limited data, one fact is undeniable, the S-500 represents a leap in Russian air defense philosophy. It is designed not just for today's threats but for the threats of the next 20 to 30 years. As the race for hypersonic weapons accelerates, and stealth technology continues evolving, the world is entering a new era of military competition. Systems like the S-500 are at the center of this shift. Whether it becomes the ultimate shield Russia claims or simply a stepping stone to an even more advanced system like the S-550, the message is clear, the battle for air and space dominance is far from over, and the S-500 is Russia's opening move in this new strategic game. Share your thoughts below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us next time as we explore more of the world's most advanced military technologies.